I hope this video will be uh, just responding to a comment by Mick Ick on a recent video uh, where I featured the or daisy wheel or the uh, hexafoil or the seed of life, flower of life, fruit of life pattern. So uh, he sent a link and this is the uh, drawing and said, you know, uh, how, how would I draw this? And if you look closely, so if I see this six petal design in here, that's the basis of it. And that's, and here we can see it here, this very um, ancient drawing, uh, ancient pattern. Now, uh, for instance, now this would be the fruit of life because then if you were to fill in these gaps, I think, so there we have 13 spheres, uh, but it, sh it would be 17 um spheres in total five nine or 19 sorry yeah 19 so we have 13 and then we have one two three four five six um now if you were to draw it like this with these 13 spheres 12 spheres perfectly wrap around the central 13th as well so that's one of the reasons why this on the us dollar bill for instance you'll see this um the 13 star pattern as well, it's very nice conversion from 2D to 3D geometry, creating a dodecahedron as well. One of these things built into nature, very lovely. Now, uh, the Osiron in Egypt, where we see this same pattern, there we see the same thing happening again. And you find it all over the place. This is a, a Roman market calendar as well, and that's the same. Uh, pattern in there now back to the drawing this is a well when i first looked at it because i well it's easy enough to spot the uh, seed of life flower of life plant but these lines appear to be straight so but when i paid closer to attention to it well they're they're not they're actually uh something there's an optical illusion going on and so for instance if you were to follow this okay this this line so it's made this if you they appear to be straight, but when you zoom in on them, uh, they, look, for instance, see that subtle curve there, and these subtle curves. Uh, so these straight lines are actually not. It's creating a very cool optical illusion. And now, so there at the center, we see the and of that's the circle, and we see that six pattern petal design. And I've just dimmed it so it's a bit easier to see. Now, as we move around. So we start with a circle in the center, and we add one. Now we draw a circle, same um, diameter or radius. Uh, so the first, the second circle is drawn on the set on the edge of the second circle is drawn on the edge of the second. Now we have what's called uh, the vesica, vesica piscis, vesica pisces, vessel of the fish. And now if we just keep drawing circles around and around and around, now. Um, again, don't, I just do these quickly so they don't, uh, if again you want to be really accurate, I'll show how to draw it in a second, um, but just to illustrate what we have there, again, this uh, the same design at the center of this is happening at the center of this design. And, but what, now just to show, because I'll, I'll now I'm going to show you how to how to draw it, at least the basics of it, but just so we get that, we have this one, two, three circle. So each one of these has a six petal design there at the center of them. And then using the central circle, we draw a one around there. And now this will, uh, the, the majority of this drawing will appear from here and these, this larger circle actually creates these lines that appear to be straight and so it's pretty much an optical illusion that's going on and um, what you'll find, yeah so this larger circle which is with the center there actually creates the drawing and now I'll, I'll, I'll do the drawing or at least part of it basically going to draw this, uh, this this portion of it so we get an idea of um, what's happening Okay, so what you need to do is just set the uh, compass and uh, draw a flower of life. I'm just going to do a simplified one because it's a lot, a lot of lines, a lot of drawing to do. But, uh, 
Is that our compass? So always going to keep it at the same size. Put it on the edge. So there we have our, uh, our vesica. Now just follow the pattern so wherever they intersect, we put our point, draw another circle. And if we follow that around, we'll do what's called, so with seven circles, we'll create what's uh, referred to as a seed of life, hexafoil, daisy wheel. Um, this is a, from the video on uh, various um, uh, superstitions and, and rituals and how this was found. Now, because I'm doing it quicker already, I've lost a little bit of accuracy. So that's going to be a problem, but I'm just not uh, doing it as... So you want to get a... Be as accurate as you can, but there we see the seed of life pattern. Which you look, if you look closely at the picture, you will see this flower um, type, this petal type pattern emerging. And now we just repeat that. And I won't be doing it as uh, detailed as the whole drawing because that's hundreds of circles. And but just to illustrate the point, we only, we don't need. Uh, all of them to get it going but as as the further we move around you'll see we've already started to create another uh, of that seed of life petal pattern in there it's going and they really just now you can just follow it out it gets every time they intersect just keep moving around and around and there you know you see as you make a little mistake it's going to get amplified as you move around, so that's why you need to be super accurate. It's better to do it with a CAD uh, to get if you really want to draw it because it, it does create a cool little optical illusion as well. So, a lot of those lines in that uh, drawing they appear to be straight lines, but they're not, it's uh, just larger and larger circles. And now you can start to see how it's a you know, one, two, three, and four. And this is as the further you move around the more and more you create. So this is again the uh, flower of life pattern which can be found for uh, the Osiron in Egypt for instance. And again these mistakes are going to get amplified so more and more. So again if you really want to do draw it you're going to have to be as accurate as you can with as fine of a point as a pen. And I'm just trying to get to a point where we have one, two, so we have one circle, then we have our second and we have our third, that would be good enough to uh, show the basics, the, the pattern of that drawing, because it's just, this geometry, it's just, you know, the complexity comes from the repetition of simplicity. And again, the, these mistakes are gonna get larger and larger the further you go out, so you need to start as accurate as you can. Yeah, you can see, it, uh, Again, so I'm just going to move away from that part now, and again, it's, uh, but we have enough now to at least illustrate the point, because we have one circle, two circles, and uh, three circles, I'll just try and, no, well, it's, we're going to have already lost it, so, but with those three circles, now I'm going to change to this. Uh, will this be big enough? So that's our central circle there. So what we have is one and a half circles. And adjust to that. Okay, so now we draw a So as you can see, one, two, and three. And that was on the center. So now, if we just do the same, I'll go to that one. Anyway, uh, wherever the, the center of those six petals, we draw that circle again. Should have chosen a better one. And now we go to the center of this one. Now it might not appear so, but the, 
more you draw these circles, all these larger, these blue circles, it's going to create this optical illusion of all these straight lines. And again, this would be much better done on a on a CAD system because uh, all those um, inaccuracies are going to re-emerge. And so now I'm sort of just trying to eyeball where the Okay, but anyway, it's because of the drawing it by hand and not taking my time being as super accurate as I can. But just every time we find one of those centers where this, which is all over, that's what I mean, hundreds of, of circles are actually needed to draw it, but it might start appearing as I get to at least the, illu the illusion that comes from it will start appearing so just every t just keep going until hopefully I'll get close enough at it so yeah it's just really two settings of the compass and we just every basically every place where they intersect we just keep going about that. This one, I think I have. Yep. Okay. Anyway, that's as, at least as a just to show the technique. Um, and that's all it is. It's two settings of the compass, and just repeating the circle every time they intersect. Uh, it's starting to emerge and try a few more. Done that one. Okay, so anyway, it's we have to do just to show the point, so we just create that uh, seed of life, flower of life, fruit of life would just keep building every time they intersect. And that would be, so if that's the radius, that's three times the radius. And so every, every center, every intersection point, you just keep drawing and start with these smaller ones and then you go to the third one and uh, that should, if you keep repeating now, uh, and that should be enough and again it just says you keep going and going and mind you that the the drawing that I'm shut that uh, from the net there that I'm, I'm, I'll be showing is a larger version of this and so we need to do a, like a, a larger flower of life and all those circles be as accurate as you can and then just move to uh, open it to if the radius was one we're going to go to three times the radius and that should cover it. I'll do a couple little graphics in there just to show what I mean and no worries.